Hey, how are you? Today I'm going to talk about perfect posture, athletic posture, and the perfect form for a squat. So the first thing we want to start talking about is perfect posture. So what is perfect posture? Well, perfect posture, and I'm going to do it from the side. So our feet are grounded into the ground. Our pelvis is in a neutral position. I have a slight bend to the knee just ever so slightly, active through the pelvic floor, lifting up through the core. Energy comes up nice and long through the core. Shoulder blades are back and down. I put my fingers right here than she had to make sure the head is alignment. And what we want to feel is the energy is getting pulled up through the top of the head. So everything is nice and relaxed. I want you to picture the skeleton in your science class when you are in high school. That whole image of having to hook up through the top of the skeleton. So from the front position, again, the feet are rooted into the ground. Pelvis is in a nice long position, not arched back, not tucked too much under, but in a neutral position, long through the core, shoulder blades back and down. Shin and end and energy out the top of the head. Arms and dice and relaxed. So this is perfect posture. We're feeling long. Our core is active. Now we're going to talk about the second posture, which is athletic posture. So athletic posture. Anytime you're going to be in any sport, baseball, golf, tennis, and even the fight or flight. Someone comes to you and goes, boom, you're going to be in this position. Athletic posture. It's a ready position. Core is active. We're a little bit more on the balls of our feet. And this is a powerful position for us to take action and move functionally. This is in a very important position of power. The feet are rooted into the ground. Again, I'm a little bit more on the balls of the feet. So I'm just going to show you what that looks like from the side. Athletic bush. We're ready to go. All right. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to talk through the perfect squat. Why do we go through posture before I go through the squat? Because so much of functional movement in weight training or any sport or just in life. We need to know the difference. Perfect posture, I'm in alignment. Athletic posture, I'm ready to go. We need to be present in all of our movement. And these are great images to implant in your head on what it feels like to be aligned in your body, both in an active area and also in a ready position. So here we go with the squat. Now, the most important thing, I'm gonna show this to you from the side, okay? So when we're doing the squat, what we want to think about is this part of the body goes back first. So we're leading back with the butt. So we're going to come up like we're sitting in a chair. See that? And then we're going to come up. Okay. So pushing back up the hips, the hips go back. And then we're going to come on up and squeeze the glute on the top. Now, this is what most people do. Watch this. Tell me what you see. You see that? Most people get in the dysfunction of doing knees first and then in the pelvis. This is the kinetic break in our natural movement pattern for squat and the primary reason why people have knee post problems because there's a kinetic break in the movement. So we want to correct that. I love to put somatic or body awareness into it by putting your hands on the hips. You can practice this on a chair, which is a great way to do it. So again, I'm going back with the glutes and then up driving up through the hips. Back with the hips and then coming on up, squeezing the glute. That's a perfect squat position. Here we go from the front. I put my hands here like this to center the energy. I'm driving back with the glutes and then driving up through the hips. Back with the glutes and they're driving up with the hips. Such an important thing to perfect your squat. Anytime you're sitting down in a chair, really get that image of dropping those hips and then driving up. This will save your knees. It'll make you feel strong. Remember, always lifting up and stay active to the core in everything you do to live a more powerful and more free life. You deserve to feel strong. You deserve to feel free in your body. Celebrate who you are and what you have. A beautiful moving vessel of strength and grace. It's to you, you can claim.